Hello folks, today we're looking at reports in a Moodle 2 course. I'm in the navigation block and coming down to the short name of my course and within that area, the reports link. Clicking on the reports link brings up a series of reports that I can look at. The first one I want to view is the logs report. Logs allows you to see click by click what users are doing within your course. The pros are that you can search within any course that you have access to for specific group activity, for all participants or a specific user within the course, for today or any other specific day, for any specific activity and across any type of action. My preference is to display the results on the page first, and then if they're exactly what I'm after, download them in any of these preferred formats. The con here is that you can only search individual days at a time, or all the days that the course has been running, which can become quite lengthy after a time. There are other reports that let you search by period times, and we're going to look at those a little bit later on. Right now, I want to look back yesterday, and see what was happening in the course then. So I'm going to click on the button get these logs and you'll notice I've now got a list of the times act actions were taken, the IP address they were taken from, the user who took them and what action they were taking in what context. The context here is either the name of the course or a specific activity. These reports are also available at site-wide level and for that you've got a um, much greater variety of contexts that you can look into. If I'm happy with these reports, I can choose to download them now. If I just need to know what's happening over the last hour, then I can go to my navigation block, still within the reports area, and look at the live logs link. Live logs will open a pop-up that shows you exactly what's happening right now. And that can be a great way to troubleshoot on the spot if you really need to find out which people are having trouble getting into your course or if there is an issue with accessing a particular element within it. You'll notice up in the top, in the title bar for the browser, it tells you it will update every 60 seconds. That can put a little bit of a load on the server, so only use it if you need to. Further down, we have the activity report. This is one of my favourites. We spend a lot of time developing activities and resources for our Moodle courses, so it's nice to be able to see which ones are being used and which ones may not have had much action on them. You'll notice the news forum has been viewed seven times, but doesn't have any related blog entries yet. Remember, we talked about related blog entries in the uh, blocks area of these videos. It also tells you the last time this activity was accessed, meaning you can keep an eye on whether everyone's seen the updates you've made to the activity or resource, or if it is actually being used the way you expected it to be. A step further on from this report is the course participation report. So it's still within our navigation block. Beneath the activity reports link is the course participation link. Click on that and it will allow you to select a specific activity. I'm going for the Moodle Experience Choice Activity. I'm going to look back one day, show only the student activity on it and every action they've taken. You'll notice I've got a list of all the students in my course and all the actions they've taken. Now a choice is quite a simple one. No means the students haven't looked at it yet. Yes, with the number in brackets beside it means not only have they looked at it, but they've made a selection, in this case, selection three. You'll notice down the bottom, I can select all no participants. And once selected, I can send them a message. This is a great way to keep in touch with students who may have missed a required activity or a useful resource. Still within our reports area, below the course participation link, we're looking at the activity completion report. 
Remember, this only becomes available if you've got activity completion turned on in your course at the course settings page. This is a fantastic breakdown of the names of the students and the activities they've done. As they go through and meet the completion conditions, be it ticking off that they've done it or meeting the uh, viewed it or required activity provisions, the ticks will come up in these boxes letting you know which students have done which activities. The alphabet list at the top and bottom here allows me to search for a specific user. For example, I may only be interested in what Sarah's done here. By searching for the first name initial S, I've narrowed down my list of users. Again, this is one of the reports that we can export out. Here we can do it in spreadsheet CSV format or Excel compatible format, both of which are actually CSVs, but slightly different. The last one we want to look at here is the statistics report. Statistics allows you to search your course activity over a set period, one week, two weeks, three weeks. I'm going just over the last week and viewing all roles. And that gives me a handy breakdown of who's doing what. You'll notice I've got guests, students, non-editing teachers, teachers, and all mapped onto this chart. I can see in the bar graph below, sorry, in the table below, what each of these roles has been doing in the course. And if I want specific information, I've got the link back to the course logs for that particular area. Reports in a Moodle course allow you to see what's happening in your course at any given time and who's responsible for it. It keeps you in touch with both your students and your non-editing teachers, so I highly encourage you, go and have a look. The statistics report that we're having a look at here has been turned on by a site-wide setting by our administrator. The activity completion report is also a part of site-wide settings that have turned on at site and course level to facilitate that report being available. The other reports we're seeing here, logs, live logs, activity report, and course participation are available because we've turned on view reports in the course settings page. Thanks for having a look at reports in Moodle with me.